So listen up, lovely people. We're gonna make the most delicious creamed spinach with a cheesy oat crumble topping. It is the ultimate side dish that I think you're gonna love. Any time of year, it's good, but especially when the weather closes in and you want something really gorgeous. This will get people that are frightened of anything green going crazy. And the great thing about this recipe is it's heroing a really, really humble ingredient, frozen spinach. I always have frozen spinach in my freezer, 500 grams. And these little beauties are fantastic. They're so convenient to help you get more of the good stuff into your food, your cooking, into stir fries, pasta sauces, you name it. And of course, like this amount of spinach, if it was fresh, would need like a pillowcase worth, right? So freezing it is brilliant. The nutrition is there. It saves you having to cook down a whole load of spinach. And actually, I think frozen spinach works better in this recipe actually than fresh spinach. So a little bit of oil in a pan. Let's get the garlic starting the story. So two cloves of garlic, just finely sliced. That's the beginning. So let's get those into the oil like this. Let's get some nice oregano. And then we've got some nutmeg, about half a nutmeg goes in. The smell already is phenomenal. So that little trilogy, oregano, garlic, and nutmeg, will be best friends with any greens, okay? So we'll go in with one onion, and that'll give us a little sweetness, which will be lovely, to give them a little toss. So just fry that for a couple of minutes just to soften it up. What I'm also trying to do is create textures. So I'm gonna cream the spinach so it's actually quite smooth and quite spoonable. But then on the top, make a beautiful cheesy oat crumble. So crunch, softness, sweetness and garlic and cheesiness and loveliness. So yeah, I'm very excited about this, as you can tell. We'll get some seasoning happening, some salt, sea salt and some pepper for sure. Mix that in. So let's talk about frozen veg. What have I got in my freezer all the time? I have spinach, peas, sweet corn, French beans, cauliflower, um, edamame beans, broad beans. That's pretty much it, right? But they're brilliant. They're brilliant. And of course, you can just take a little handful, a tiny bit. If I'm making like a little minestrone soup or a casserole, I can just grab little bits and just pump up the color, the texture, the flavor, and of course, the nutrition. Let that thaw out and cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's quite deep green and dark. And then we'll season it up and then I'll show you what to do next. So look, this has had about 12 or so minutes. Can you see how lovely and deep that is? Now, if you were using this in a curry, in flatbreads, on pizzas, in quiches, like little crostinis, through scrambled egg, like through omelets, like this would be amazing. Look at the texture. Dark, deep, irony, gorgeousness. Right, I'm gonna use the food processor because I wanna cream the spinach. You don't have to, but I want to, okay? Let's get on to the cheesy, crumbly topping. So first up, 50 grams each of porridge oats, any ones you like, really, really nice, and some lovely plain flour. 50 grams of lovely cheese. I suggest a nice cheddar, Wensleydale, Red Leicester, something like that. So about 50 grams goes in. And then 50 grams of butter. So a little buzz. When it comes together like that, that is when I like it. So I'll put that onto the board here, like that. And then I'm gonna take this lovely spinach and put it back in here. Now you can go chunky or you can go really smooth or somewhere in the middle. It smells absolutely lovely. So to give it that richness, we're gonna use some lovely creme fraiche good couple of heaps tablespoons go in. Now, look guys, you could use single cream, double cream, no trouble at all. Just enough to kind of bind it and enrich in it. And if you want to put a little bit of Parmesan or cheddar in there, you could, but I've got that in the topping. So look at that. It's not baby food, but it's quite elegant. Beautiful colour. So I'm very happy with that. So just put the spinach 
into a nice dish like that. All of that spinach out. Look at the colour. Really, really nice. And then the crumbly topping just break up. Just press it down like that. Now the great thing about this incredible side is you can double it, treble it, quadruple it. You can do it as a get ahead recipe, so you can do it the day before. And then all you have to do is bang it in the oven for about 40 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna have a little clean down and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's gonna be amazing. So it's done and let's have a look. You can see it settled down really nicely. It smells incredible, really, really good. But let me show you the cross section when you get in there. Oh, come on. Look at that. It's so blooming rich and gorgeous. Cream spinach, crunchy golden topping. Mm. So good, so good. Um, whether you have that with a roast dinner, a Christmas dinner, have it with a nice steak night dinner, you know, have it as a lovely lunch with a little salad, really, really nice. You can make a bunch up and put them in the freezer, knock them out, it's a brilliant side. People love it. So there you go, get the recipe, get shopping, get cooking and enjoy.